Welcome everyone to my new day trading video presentation out here on the BTC. I would like to long it as quickly as possible and then we start a discussion guys. This is a 10 Bitcoin position. It is 10x leverage on one Bitcoin. We're trading on Binance. You can see that on the bottom of our page. We're connected to our trading panel right there. This is API trading through tradingview.com. This is also allowing us to perform trading for our clients and to be part of the whole automated process that we're also putting together. So, um, you know, I'll talk about the entry a little later on. I need to set the stop loss exactly to the place we have that indication between the two yellow lines. And then the take profit is between the two red lines in the highs out there. It's quite an interesting trade out here, $3,500 for the stop loss and a 15,635 for the take profit. That's not a bad ratio, guys. Let me just share with you. So 60,830 exactly on the current price is, I'd like to share with you the risk and reward ratio to 56% on the target and 0.57 on the stop loss, putting together a 4.46 risk and reward ratio for this trade we are doing. Now, what's happening? How do we perform? How do we act? It's just like I've been telling you in my other videos of other trades. Make sure to follow me, subscribe to see more of this. This is a most of a challenge, basically, to have people motivated around the topic and raise the alarm, raise the flags that it's not always green. It's not always the best out of the best. And you also have times with losses and difficulties. I did wanted to explain and share with you a real experience of how this trading looks like in reality, especially for the day trading side. Now, how do we entry? How do we set target stop losses? And why do we set at those levels? This is something I perform in the background. This is something that I also do my uh, complete technical analysis as well with the price action, including our chat GPT bot that helps us. At the end of the day, we get to see automated this, uh, you know, six lines in our chart. Whenever we have the opportunity, they appear and it shows us where we should long, where we should put a stop loss and where we should exit out of longs or we should short depends on the situation where we have a good probability we go with that. Beautiful. It shows automated as soon as I approve basically the outcome, as soon as I approve basically the whole process, we get to see that message, which is, you know, partially, I could say with manual inputs, but at the same time, it has some characteristics that are pretty automated. So this is where we are, folks. I mean, you know, the idea is quite simple. We're longing the current structure and we're aiming to sell in the highs. Um, for sure, I might exit a little later on with a uh, potential uh, smaller profit, maybe partially exit on 61,900s, maybe at that top right there if I get the opportunity to partially exit. And on top of that, if I get the opportunity basically to cross 61, if, if we close above with a good candle of five minutes above 61,300s, and I am available at the computer to do that action, I'd like to move my stop loss to my entry, right? I'd like to break even on the trade if the market, you know, actually wants to retrace like this, not to end up in a minus because of another low, which could be created quite easily. Want to make sure that do not happens. I'd like to simply uh, raise the alarm in the safety side and take care about it in that way. However, there is a lot to go till that point of market is not yet reversing at all. This is a five minute type of a trading. This is not really on the one minute candlestick that we're doing. It's five minute candlesticks or, you know, day trades that could be extended into swing trades, you know, in trading in crypto, especially in Binance, you don't need to close your trades at the end of the day. You can let them run for the upcoming days as well, weeks and months. No issue with that at all, guys. So this is the current context. That's my logic behind at the moment. Why do I open up a trade at that level? Why do I sell it in the highs? Why do I have that stop loss over there? It is something really comprehensive to talk about. And it's not going to be in this videos at all. For those of you that would like to learn how to trade, 
Indeed, we have the one-on-one -on -one coaching program with me. You can find out more about it on my page, scramblecoaching.com. You can register now for a free call and you can watch the video which explains you how does it work. It is intensive, comprehensive, between four to six weeks. I'll take you by hand live and teach you how to trade on one-on-one -on -one conversations with hub work and so on, live trading and everything that is needed for someone to have the level of skills and knowledge to trade correctly. And then you can also join my trades in the meantime, if you think this is something interesting, no prior fee, just a commission from the profits we make, paid by you every seven days. You know, you can join my trades, you can be part of this whole process and enjoy the ride if you think so. Completely automated. We're going to talk about it later on as well. So this is where we are, guys. That's pretty much all about it. Still sitting in minus the market. Um, you know, didn't really react it so far, but it is kind of showing some signs and some strength out there rejecting. You know, it's it's a situation where things can flush, you know, into that low over there quite easily. So uh, we get to long the structure here nicely in the lower part of the range. And that's, you know, really helping me a little bit. But still, still, there is room basically for the downside. I mean, obviously, $3,500 is not a small amount, but take a look at the take profit sitting on 15600 That is a very, very satisfying ratio for me, guys, especially that I'm, you know, when I do day trading, the day trading is totally different than swing trading or position trading or any form of a spot trading. You're actually in a situation when your number one priority should be to secure your capital once you have enough room um, into the positive side, right? So once you have a bit of a profit out there and a technical approach that should indicate market continuation in your direction, then you want to secure in case of a surprise reversal. You don't want to suffer from a position that you've been in profit and you actually broke a structure that should have continued to the upside. That is a very, very deep frustration usually people will uh, will receive. And that's going to cause, you know, a possible revenge trading, a possible um, sadness going through the whole picture, stress and lack of confidence in upcoming actions, which is something that is having deep costs at the end of the day. I am not suggesting anyone to be in that field of this picture, which is why education is the number one priority from my perspective. I've been here trading since 2014 and I am approving uh, as number one priority for anyone that wants to realistically make money for long term, not just, you know, trying to ride a bull condition or a bull market and set up a way that is a specific context that usually makes money for most of the people. But at the same time, they lose it all. They give it back to the markets, just like what's happening these days in the space of crypto. A lot of the money has been given back. And a lot of the people on top of that have lost their you know money by being over leveraged. If you saw the you know market dumpings, if you saw 50, 60 percent in the altcoins, that you can imagine people on large leverages that were trading wrong on swings and positions and, you know, massive positions out there, of course, have been completely liquidated, which is why we got those strong sell offs at the end of the day. Right. So I'm going to pause the recording. I'm not going to sit here for, you know, maybe hours and hours speaking to you all sort of things. So we're going to pause this thing and resume whenever we have our response. If the trade is not going to change at all during the time I'm going to be up, then we're going to film this thing later on once I'm back in my office and get into the business, folks, with you by presenting you the outcome as it is. Enjoy. Hope you enjoy the transparent um, experience out of this journey. And I wish you the best, guys. Just look forward to the next minutes and we're going to find out more. Updating you guys on the current situation of the market for our 10 BTC position. It is 61,666 right there on the price section. This is the current result of a trade. It's a live trade. It's running on our Binance API trading. $8,200 profit on this one. Uh, and we got this one open since 17 hours and 45 minutes, right? So this is for how long we got this trade. It wasn't done on 15 minutes, but right now on 15 minute candlesticks, we're fine with this one to hold all our time frame. Uh, you know, what's the big deal here that we got a thousand dollars right now in profit with this one. And we almost got into the stop loss right there 
uh, you know, we've been in a downtrending channel successfully breaking out on the positive side, which is basically taking the markets right now in the highs, looking for getting into the indicated area of exit. But there's something that I'd like to do before we talk about it. So the way I'm going to handle this trade from here is going to be in the following way. We're going to take our stop loss, which is set at minus 3,500. It was set in the lower range of the zone of the stop losses, and that's totally fine. So we're going to take that and put it slightly above the, you know, entry. Like, you know, right now the stop loss is $161 on plus, right? If we get to close our order at that price action, what am I going to do? We got, you know, What's that? 7,200, right? So this, you know, almost $1,000 wiped away since I'm filming. There is a bit of volatility here, even though the position is large, guys. So it's obvious to see such numbers. We got 10 Bitcoins in this position, which means $600,000. We got basically a 10x leverage, which is why we have one Bitcoin margin into this. And the rest of that is completely leveraged. So what's the deal, guys? Another $700 back. We on to 8,000 on that one, you see the volatility and the way the numbers are moving around. The take profit is at 15 grand, just like you saw earlier. So what am I going to do is I will exit five Bitcoins out of this position, which means I'm going to change the quantity to five and sell five Bitcoins at this price section means $4,000 we're going to close. And that's something that makes me really happy about it. Here we go. Beautiful guys. Now, what's the next deal here? Five BTCs remaining active. If we get to touch that target, I'll get, you know, $7,817. If we get to get back to my entry, we're going to close out on 80 bucks in profit and the rest of 40,000, which we have closed right now is already secured, right? So right now at this price section, we're talking about the next thing. We got to secure 50% of 8,000 and we pretty much move the stop loss slightly above the entry. There is a risk free situation right now and I would like to trade in the following structure. We could attack basically even a higher level than that and I could adjust basically levels that could you know, represent stronger benefits financially speaking, which means that I could take basically my take profit and adjust it above $63,000 where I also have a certain level which I consider a significant resistance. Just grabbing the liquidity from there could put us into a nice shape. This would be another $11,000 on top of four that would just simply play out 15 grand. So I'm gonna let right now my take profit on that level update you a little later on with the position i might move my stop loss higher than the current situation as well so i could simply just you know take my stop loss from here and put it slightly below the structure we are actually trading right now which means 1174 if the market wants to uh sit if away reverse it is really you know a uh, huge chance out there to retouch the trending line we just broke out and simply get back into that area and that means for me to have an extra $1,000 secured with that, which is something that I can do, but definitely not doing it at the moment. Uh, as soon as we, we force with another candle, I'm going to change that situation and increase the stop loss a little higher. But for the moment, right now, as we speak, we're not going to do it. This is where we are, guys. I mean, a little update here for you guys. The market is, you know, continuing nicely. And we are expecting high levels on this entry. Enjoy. Have a good time, folks. I'm going to update you with the upcoming actions as well and keep in touch with the trade. Updating you guys on the video. It's been uh, some time since um, I pretty much sold my uh, five BTCs position out here. As you can see, we actually pumped into the full exit target where we have not sold the last five BTCs remaining, yet the markets dumped afterwards, corrected a little bit, and we re-added another five BTC positions right there at 61,606, as you can see on that candlestick. And we're looking forward basically seeing right now another movement to the upside. Uh, for the moment, based on the average of the entry, so the first, the initial entry was right there for the first time, 60,830s. 
and then we re-added to our position at that level. We brought back our order to 10 Bitcoins again, right? You can see that on the left side. Uh, the stop loss is set yet again above the entry price, above the new entry price, which is the average in between the two orders, which uh, right now sits uh, on a little profit out there if we get to be stopped out, $140, uh, or I could simply close the order with $3,800 right now in pure profits on this particular part and have the other $4,000 that I've already secured when I sold five Bitcoins earlier. So this is where we are, guys, with the order. Not much to speak about. Pretty much expecting for the market to have the ability to force at least for a double top. But in this case scenario, it would be a lot better for the moment to break out of that specific 60 to 400s, a level which just like been uh, recognizing it's pretty much holding the bar for the moment and it's not really allowing the space of crypto mining a little more liquidity here or there to take it to the highs and then obviously you know there's huge chances out there to hit our target which means nineteen thousand dollars plus another four that we have secured already would bring us around twenty three thousand dollars on this uh you know sort of away no longer a day trade no longer a quick scalp most likely becomes a swing trade it is opened since 21 hours so far and it's running smoothly enjoy guys i'm gonna update you in the next uh you know session in the next situation when i have a bit of a time to record again jumping on a call with my students by the way, for those of you that would like to join my coaching, you can find out all the links, including for trading in the description or in comments area. This is where we are at the moment in a uh, comfortable situation, guys. I don't mind if we touch the stop loss. I'm still going to have $4,000. I just want to make sure I take as much as possible out of a trade that could represent after a strong sell off in the space of BTC could represent a stronger move to the upside. And that would be just great. It's already moving. Look at that. We'll see the outcome, of course, no issue either way, which is why we have been uh, not selling totally at this price section. And yeah, we have been pretty much securing quite of a decent amount of money there. I prefer to let the rest of the trade active and risk a little more or actually add a little more on it. Right. Get back to our 10 BTCs and run for the big price because that's how you actually make a lot more than you lose when you lose which is why i can have two or three stop losses touched and a single winner is going to pay even four or five stop losses sometimes which is why in the long term we are pretty much beating the market and we trade on leverage so we make a lot more at the end of the day than lose enjoy guys we're going to update you later on and see what's happening Let's continue with the last update on the trade. This is where we are, guys. So what happened is we got into another 5 BTC position, pretty much enforcing it after the markets had been retracing and uh, thought that we had a great possibility, a great ability out there to continue, right? Or just simply continue from here, which was a total failure. At the end of the day, we touched our stop loss at 61,220 and we have been uh, putting together the following results the first long that we have closed at 61 639 right there was consisting 50 percent of our position that we got into at that level so you're pretty much familiar with that this represented four thousand forty two dollars then we re-added another five btc so we managed to get back into a 10 bitcoins position and set the stop loss at the new level of our average of entry, which was pretty much at 61,220. We closed that one on $18 profit as well. If you cut out the commission, that's a bit of a minus over there. Indeed, the idea is quite simple. The market's pretty much failed at this level. This is a crucial level. It failed over there and then it had a retracement and even here the failure is not missing to appear. So that you pretty much fall into the structure of liquidity which is taking out the inefficiency from the zone and it's no longer allowing you to breathe. 
I was having a chance to sell here in the highs, indeed, if I would have monitored the position actively and constantly and non-stop, then you have that chance. If you don't monitor and if you don't have anything automated to sell at that level, of course, you just cannot. Utilizing a trailing stop loss is something that I'm not doing because it's not efficient and it's definitely a very good service offered by the exchanges in order to make more money. Uh, I'm not down to that. So the idea is quite simple. Uh, you know, if we wouldn't had, and this is another thing to point out, very important, if we wouldn't had our stop loss increase to our entry, we would have had hit basically our stop loss zone and ended on this trade on complete minus. So as you can see, guys, protecting your capital and having the ability to secure certain profits along the way and then protecting your capital on whatever is left, trying to enforce it with another position at some point and trying to play with an active trade that's going your direction is extremely important. But at the same time, it is not possible to do any of these things without having a good entry. So the whole business model, which is the trading, is constantly uh, conditioned by a good entry. With a wrong entry, you're not going to have the ability to increase your stop loss and become a risk-free concept. And then at the same time, taking profits partially at levels that are significant, you're not going to have that ability as well. So that is a big, big problem out there. Once again, folks, $4,000 secured on this trade. Uh, not bad. I'm not going to complain about it. But at the same time, in the way the markets have played at this level, especially with the uh, inability to continue the run, you know, considering if you look in the other uh, higher time frame, we kind of rejected 62, 400, 300, 500 so many times. It's been a bit of ridiculous out there. But that's it, folks. You know, they enjoy playing with the people. They enjoy playing with the orders, with highly leveraged guys out there back and forth before it triggered a move to a higher level. It happened to me to cross a situation that rejected 12 times on a certain level, right? So they kept pushing to that point, rejecting, and it happened 12 times in a row. Uh, meanwhile, it was pretty much clear the breakout is going to happen. It's just like they were just pushing to the level and then throwing it back to take some more liquidity, making sure they hit stop losses, making sure they take the traders out before the markets moved, which is something it also did at some point. So that's pretty much all on this one. It's been a quite of a long trade. In terms of time, we got into at this point and we've been stopped out over there. So that's a day and 12 hours, which is, again, satisfying to end it on $4,000. Could have made more, could have made quite easily double than that uh, by exiting in the highs or simply even with a first order by exiting in the short zone. Um, we did not manage to do that at all. At the end of the day, it is not possible to be a perfect trader what is possible to make sure you are profitable and that is the most important thing enjoy guys make sure to check out the one-on-one -on -one coaching for those of you that care about education and to learn how to trade one-on-one -on -one with me at the same time you can participate in my trades without any prior fees you can check out all the links in the description area just complete the forms and just risk for a free conversation with me enjoy guys